Hello everybody, I'm Jim McMahon, with me is Gorilla Mezzo, and welcome to Hell in a Cell. It all comes down to this, I know I say that every month, but we have been building up to Hell in a Cell for a month now, and we're going to lock a bunch of contestants in the most hellacious contraption ever produced by man other than the Elimination Chamber, but we'll talk about that at some other time. <laughs> it is time for Hell in a Cell, and we are starting off tonight with a Royal Rumble match. What, Jim? I thought we were getting a Battle Royal. That is not what <laughs> is happening here. Instead, we're getting a 10-man Royal Rumble we're being told, I'm way too loud, aren't I? We're being told that all 10 men being entered into this Royal Rumble's jobs are at stake. If you're thrown over the top rope and both feet touch the ground, you are eliminated and fired from the JFW. We don't know whose careers are at stake. A 9 out of 10, we've only got one guy, and that is... Dave, Dave is going to be in this Royal Rumble. We're about to find out the other nine men whose fates will come to a head to start Hell in a Cell. Jim, let's get to let's ringside. Let's go right to it. Glorious. And here we go. Who is going to be our first person in Hell in a Cell? That person's chances of retaining their job. Oh, my God. What? <laughs> is this it's lemon is good he has a title match later tonight the number one entrant virtually no chance of winning from that spot lemon is good thrown into this match doesn't seem to care he's got that cocksure entrance here he comes someone in the upper management labeling lemon is good as one of the quote dregs of the jfw he is in this match. What does that mean for his tag team partner, Fan Fox? What does that mean for Dress for Business? What does that mean for a title shot against the Unnatural Snackers later tonight? Well, I can tell you one thing. If Lemon can win this match tonight... Oh, shut up, Cody. If Lemon <laughs> can win this match tonight, this would be truly a heroic run for Dress for Business, and no one could ever shut him up. <laughs> But if he goes over that top rope, that's it. Good night, Lemon. Good night, JFW career. No oh boy. Unbelievable. My dog is yeah. begging for my sandwich. <laughs> but who's he going to face? Who is in the number two spot? Let's go to ringside and find out. This is pretty cool because I really don't have any idea. I'm just as in the dark as you guys. Yes, we all are, Jim, because this is happening live. Yes. <laughs> well, now, well, now, wait just a second. Wait a second. That's Fan Fox. That's the <laughs> other half of Dress for Business, the number one and number two. There's no way out of this. Dress for Business, one of these men is getting fired tonight. I think that could spell disaster. For the tag team, the potential tag team chance. What is happening right now, Jim? This is incredible, isn't it? I can't believe Jim McMahon has done this. This is. Uh, <laughs> this is unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Lemon must be seething. <laughs> oh dear. Does this mean the unnatural snackers, the heart and soul of the JFW? <laughs> Are your new tag team <laughs> champions because Dress for Business will have to forfeit their match? No, oh, I don't know about that. I'm sure something must be happening. <laughs> well, well, here we go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to eat. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, no! <laughs> Instant! <laughs> <laughs> eliminated Fan Fox doesn't know what to do with himself <laughs> I didn't even notice that happened <laughs> oh and it's Dave, Dave the oh, he kicks him right in the face <laughs> oh and damn Dave the number three in spot Dave this is a tall task a man with a pretty spotty win record having to go through 
nine other men, or eight other men now, sorry, Lemon, <laughs> to keep his job. Unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> Incredible. Oh my god, it's McNaughton number four out. Whoa. McNaughton, we know he's rubbed the upper management the wrong way a couple times in his failings. But to put his career on the line, he's had a pretty good run all the time. Well, he ran himself right out of a job. <laughs> Goodbye, McNaughton. Unbelievable. Uh, I, should, I should note that I know the... I don't know... I, never mind, don't worry about me. Oh, no. no, and this could be it for FanFox, too. He's hung up on these ropes here. <laughs> well, he is... He has geeks coming in. Geeks Wargaming. Not much to say about the man from Dudley, but he's a <laughs> lovely fella. But will he be a lovely employed fella by the end of the night tonight? It's a tall task. <laughs> it certainly is. <laughs> and out comes our next, our next competitor. <laughs> Fanfox still hanging on the number two man in and it's Finny oh no it's one of the Ooh. fucking red here comes Finny will we see Chunter too we've already seen the demise of one of the one of the top tag teams in the JFW could we see the demise of another one this is incredible unbelievable Jeff Finny straight in Sure is, going right after Geeks Wargaming, and both Geeks and now a busted open FanFox in serious trouble. Geeks hanging on on the apron there, but Finny using those giant feet to try and push him out. Who's coming out next to? One. Uh, it's Jaws is the very tall, light heavyweight himself, one of the tallest men in the JFW for some weird reason. <laughs> there he is. Yeah. Will his gangly legs keep him in this one? <laughs> Only time will tell, folks. Yeah, it certainly aids him in getting into the ring. Uh, <laughs> we'll have to see how it, how it affects yeah. him getting out. <laughs> oh, boy. And uh, the timer's ticking down. This is a fast and furious rumble that's kicking off right now. Oh, Bro! no, there goes... Oh, he's oh, not... No, he held on! He held on! He held on it! Oh, my goodness. Here comes the Kurgle, another top guy in the super heavyweight division. Yeah, the the ball shot master. <laughs> the Kurgle, unbelievable. Oh my goodness, this is ruthless, Jims. Ruthless. <laughs> I thought we were going to get the, the Marcells and the I'm Two Noobs of the world, if I'm being completely honest with you. <laughs> This is incredible, isn't it? And we've got a full Absolutely run as well. Not no, no eliminations incredible. for ages after those quick ones at the start. Yeah. Oh, it's Muppet no. Pac-Man. Number nine. One of the unnatural snackers. It's Muppet Pac-Man. He's already had such a terrible week. Friday night, losing his title in a match he didn't know he was going to be in. And now, at least he's the number nine spot, but there's a lot of talent in the ring. And, oh, I didn't even see FanFox go over Whoa, the top. And up goes Geeks, nice too. Geeks, yeah. But good night on Dress for Business. Maybe they can find a career on the indies at some high school gym or something. Yeah, they're dressed for the job Dave. interview now. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's true. They will have an advantage on some of these other moocs. <laughs> it's on back. Oh, and number 10, Arvac making his long-awaited return to the JFW. <laughs> but will it be for only one night? Arvac has, has arguably had the roughest go of it of anyone in the JFW. Constantly harassed by table leg wanger, put in multi-man matches or handicap matches, being stripped of a contract. Oh, and he's powerbombed by Kurgle there. Yes, and... Whoa, Dave's going! <laughs> Muppet missed him, unbelievable. Oh boy, Dave and Muppet. Hey, Ardback's oh, no, gone. Ardback, Ardback gone. Oh dear, oh dear, Jim. This <laughs> is what an outrageous day in JFW Dave, history. Yeah, Dave hanging on to the apron. Oh, oh no, boy. and Jaws is trying to put the little man over. Could he do it? No, Muppet! No, Muppet hangs on! Hangs on! 
<laughs> J5. <laughs> you, well, if anyone's going to pull that one off, J5, it's the heart and soul of the JFW, the unnatural snackers. But will they have a manager in their corner tonight? Should they even have a match tonight? We will find out if Muppet can hang on oh, to Vinny. this one. Oh, Vinny no, is done to Kurgle. Yeah, dumps Kurgle over the top. Muppet feeling it now. We're down to four. <laughs> wow. Oh, what a clothesline from hell. Dave, from Dave. Dave dropping him, yeah. Will it be Jaws' Chunter, Dave, or Muppet Pac-Man? I don't I don't even want to guess. I don't I'd feel wrong. Oh feel Jaws is super right. down Finny. Well there goes Finny. Oh no, and there goes Muppet. No, Muppet hangs on again. Can he keep hanging on? Dave working him over. Will we have the two purple and black brawlers here? Jaws and Dave. <laughs> oh, there is Jaws. The big back oh, buddy draw. Absolutely. And Muppet Pac-Man. Oh, gets that low kick. And a nice drop kick there to, to drop the big man. Can he get him over the top, though? That's a, that's a tall task. Oh, he does. Whoa. He puts him over. Oh, no, he skinned the cat. Oh, no, he doesn't. Muppet, it's it's down to Muppet and Dave. <laughs> Muppet was our number nine man. Dave, our number three. This has got to be in Muppet's favor at this point. He's got Absolutely. the endurance. He's got the skill. Look <laughs> at these two gladiators <laughs> fighting for the top spot of well, keeping their job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's probably the bottom spot, I guess, the way the management's going. Oh, no. But Dave on top. No, Muppet counters. Arm drag takedown. And now, oh, they're just trading off. They're both men exhausted already. Muppet, very small, hasn't had to put in as much of a shift as Dave. Oh, no. But Muppet <laughs> getting brained on that turnbuckle over there, Jim. <laughs> Absolutely savage turnbuckle attacks from Dave. Dave. Oh, and the kick to, oh no, Muppet a bit staggered. Dave could really take over here. Oh, kicks him in the back of the head. Oh, this is looking really bad for Muppet Pac-Man. It sure is. Whoa. <laughs> and Dave's Dave happy with himself, isn't he? Look at He's this. He's feeling it. He's got the power and size advantage, but does he have the endurance and heart advantage? It's hard to believe. Oh, no, here comes Muppet. Oh! oh, no. Oh, no. Dave ducks him. Muppet goes flying over the top, and Dave has won it. Dave is your winner. Dave is still employed by the JFW. Good night, Muppet. Oh, dear me. <laughs> well, there Dave. you have it. There's Dave. Look at him. He's going to point at that sign. Oh, there it is. The JFW sign. <laughs> pointing at it. He's still got his job. What a legend. Yeah, absolutely. He's pointing to the business he's still going to be working in, Jim. <laughs> JFW. <laughs> Fantastic. Wow. Congratulations, Dave. Commiserations to the other nine men. Whew. What a match, Jim. What a match. Yeah, incredible, wasn't it? Absolutely. And, and I guess now we're going to go straight into the ne the next match. Which is Frost Lord versus Table Leg Wanger, right? I believe so, Jim. If you wouldn't mind resetting and doing the game stream now for me, so I can I have will sound. do that. A little, yes, a little I tough without the sound. I will do that um, as soon as I can get everything back on. <laughs> Lemon, that I mean, hey, that is a common trend in professional wrestling from the sound of it. But uh, whew, what a what a rough. Oh. All those men at some point. But in what capacity, Jim? Yeah, unbelievable. Thank you. All right, here we go. Let's get to ringside now, though. We've got Mighty AF Cross Lord in a, in, a, in a title match for the Extra Arms belt. Do we really need to cover the history of this fucking belt, Jim? <laughs> Let's hashtag Jimmy is the real champ. Well, it, you can say that, but he ain't walking out for a title match. He might not even be walking anymore. We don't know. I haven't heard from him since. But Table Leg Wanger, his former best friend, cashing in money in the ass to steal that belt away from him after Jim, Jimmy Minmax Tastic, stole it away from uh, from Extra Arms, but through nefarious means. Beat him, found and, square, uh, one, two, three, in the middle of the ring. 
Busting well, hot actually, it was the tap. Actually, it was a tap out, not yeah. a one, two, three. But <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, I, I gotta go. I gotta side with Tarsus in chat right now. Tarsus really should have gotten his shot, and it looked like he might have had a real chance at it. But that's neither here nor there, because right now we have our title match, super heavyweight division. Here he comes, calling himself the glorious one. Oh yeah, it's uh, it's Wang. Oh, hey, Wanger. Oh, hey, Wanger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Wanger. <laughs> the extra arms champion. He's got it, whether you like it or not. I mean, he robbed Jimmy. Jimmy beat the AB <laughs> fair and square. But Jimmy did rob Tarsus's opportunity. But that was Tarsus's opportunity for letting him. <laughs> Those are some mental gymnastics. You're getting a silver at the Olympics, Jim. Thanks very much. All I'm saying is, hashtag Jimmy is the real champ. <laughs> well, if cocky's around, you might be able to get that trending. <laughs> yeah. Number one worldwide. And the goal of this man, he's stolen Jimmy's music and his title. Outrageous. Oh, no, no, Tarsus. You're meant to be the good guy. Don't. Ah, oh, Tarsus. Don't. No, <laughs> don't. No. No, don't. Boo. Boo. All right, here we go. You might not like him, but you got to respect him. Well, you don't have to respect him, but he's in front of your TV. So unless you change the channel and go watch, like, I don't know, is Davo playing based our uh, Blood Bowl? We no, don't Rick say is, though. We don't say that name here. <laughs> I can say whatever name I want, Jim. I'm untouchable. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, I got to gotta just, you know, Lemon, you know, if you, if you were one of the, you know, as a social media manager, if you were still employed by the JFW, we might have to pay a bit of attention to it. But uh, unfortunately, that's not the way it's going to be. <laughs> All right. Does Frostlord have what it takes to take this title away? Mighty AF would sure love to notch another big win. They absolutely will, yeah. He's a big boy, isn't he? <laughs> the tank. It's good in it. <laughs> oh, hey, oh, hey <laughs> Here we go. Will Will Wanger be kissing that belt that he worked so hard to get? <laughs> <laughs> hey, who knows what he good did backstage luck. to get those opportunities? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he might have worked very hard indeed. <laughs> All right, Frostlord looks ready. Wanger looks comfortable, looking to kick some ass tonight. Here we go. EAB belt waiting in the wings for one of these two men. Oh, dear. Hello, Goliath. <laughs> Oof. Now that's, that is fair, Lemon. Yeah, it is. Whoa. And the power, the, power, the power strike starting off in Wanger's favor, already dropping uh, Frostlord. And working him over, getting control of this match early, but here comes Frostlord. Oof. You get punched in the stomach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then Oof. thrown Oof. into the. Oh, sent through the middle rope there. Hits his shoulder on that uh, post. Yeah. Oof. What a maneuver. <laughs> And a sit on your arm kind of move. Whatever that is. He's got to wrench that shoulder, Jim. Oh, but there's that European uppercut. Here comes Frostlord. Looking for a suplex, maybe. Oh, tosses him. Beautiful Ooh. power move there. Now, Frostlord, this is extreme rules. He's going for a weapon here. Oh, boy. He's got a baseball and he's got bat. A baseball bat. Will he be able to mega baseball? Oh, he did. He tees <laughs> off on him. 
<laughs> super mega baseball player right there. And Willie go right in for that pin. He brained him. Is this it? No, not even a one count, Jim. But no. Wanger's going to feel that one tomorrow. Absolutely. Yeah, that was pretty brutal. Yeah, hashtag justice for Jimmy. <laughs> I like that lemon. <laughs> He's just trying to get his job back. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this from Wanger. Oh, Wanger preening. <laughs> Having a little sit there to brag. <laughs> oh. oh, well, maybe you should have thought about kicking him a few more times. Gets the spine buster. And then his arm slammed into the mat here. And here comes Frost Lord to get countered. And suplexed. Nope. Atomic oh. chair drop. Oh. Oh, oh and a patented Wanger going up for that elbow drop. He's pretty close right now. He might overshoot him. Oh, oh. sticks the landing. Oh, dead right in the middle of the chest. And goes for that pin. This could be it, Jim. It could. That's a two. Oh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> well, that's definitely one way to advance your career. Sitting and waiting for someone to hand you something. <laughs> I mean, I oh. guess it's worked for one half of the men in the ring right now. So. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, look at this. Boosh. Oh, he sticks it. There's the yeah, super kid. Did this Wanger be... just win? Oh. No, the two count kick out by Frostlord. Frostlord's a tough cookie. Oh, boy. But Wanger just all over him here. <laughs> <laughs> Thrusting his crotch in his face. Just like any other Sunday, really. <laughs> I'm going for that pin again. Oof. Just the two count. Frostlord desperately needs to get something going here. Or this is going to be all over and we're going to have to listen to Wanger for another month. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Or maybe that's we're just gonna already have to listen to him doing a lot of celebrating there instead of putting this guy away. And there you go. That's why you don't do that. The uppercut. Nope. Oh. Oh wait. Here we go. I thought he was going for a pedigree there for a so second. So did I. Yeah. No. Instead, the sharpshooter being locked in. Frostlord gonna have to fight out of this. He's middle of the ring practically. Yeah. This is tough. He's and he taps. <laughs> he taps out. Wow, Table Leg just beat Frostlord Army to retain the extra arms belt. Shocking stuff. Give up sometimes, yeah, obviously. Frostlord yeah. taking a leaf out of Tony's book. <laughs> Absolutely, Frostlord. <laughs> oh, well, me. there is your extra arms belt champion, Table Leg Wanger. Oh, proven that, was... that uh proven that getting a little bit of a rub from the upper management maybe not enough you got to have something to back it up and tonight Frostlord did not really didn't have much to show at all in this match no that was a crazy match wasn't it really very one yep one of those matches you don't expect to happen but there you go <laughs> <laughs> yep just Mother soldier through it gorilla <laughs> soldier through it yep you just gotta keep going with what they give you Yep. <laughs> that's that's live TV when it's not predetermined like the <laughs> WWE guys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna find everyone who accuses us of booking these the way we want them, and I'm gonna beat them within an inch of their life. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What, do you, what do you mean parking spot? We make you guys take the bus, J5. <laughs> well, there you go. That was that match. Um, next up, oh, it's the <laughs> it's the Hell in a Cell Dio, the Crew versus Space Cadet and the Norse Canuts. <laughs> that's more a Plovatch and Space Cadet in a handicap match against the crew. That's C R capital E W E. The crew. It's a Welsh thing. That's a sheep thing. You get the whole joke by now. We're gonna stick them in Hell in a Cell. Can Space Cadet and his partner overcome the Sniper Dio? <laughs> outnumbered, outgunned here. But he believes that Dio and the other Welshmen 
don't stand a chance in a one in, in a one on one <laughs> in a in a face to face match where they can't flee when they want to. So here we go. What a match we got coming. Three on two. The crew. That's C R Capital E W E versus the Norse. Canuts. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sadly not Frosty, no. Sadly not. <laughs> yeah, it works yeah. because of WR Spenny though, Levin, so. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, Ardvac, you were fired. Well, unfortunately, <laughs> Ardvac, you were in the bottom of the barrel uh, Royal Rumble, and you did not uh, last very long, unfortunately, so. Nice to have you as part of the JFW, but it uh, looks like you're going to be looking for new work. <laughs> and here they come, the coal miners, the Welshmen. They like their, their, what's that stuff called? Rabbit? Not sheep. rabbit. No, the, the food. Fucking sheep. Yeah, okay, yes, they like. They also <laughs> like fucking cheap, and that's why they're called the crew. That's C-R, capital E, W, E, even though it's all caps in there. <laughs> yeah, McNaughton's going to be furious when he sees his performance. <laughs> as, as, as probably Lemon is. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, Lemon, you got to remember who's drafting that list of bottom of the barrel. It's possible that uh, you you might you, you might think that the uh, the guy putting those people in there has uh, has plans for you know other other wrestlers other teams and uh, you just stood in his way. <laughs> not that I'm gonna disparage Mr. Jim McMahon's booking or anything. No, of but... course not. Hello, <laughs> Lean Gary. You know, I gotta say, Mr. Jim McMahon has been very friendly with Mighty AF. Really, Frostlord didn't quite earn that match that he was put in, but he squandered it anyway, yeah. annoyingly. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, you know, the Unnatural Snackers and Mighty AF do have this really good friendship going. Maybe this is something that benefits the Snackers in a really nefarious and diabolical way. But we've got to focus on the task at hand here. Three on two Hell in a Cell match coming up. Here come the Norse Canuts. Oh, yeah, I've just realized I didn't change their name. Oh, no. Nobody look at the screen. Everyone <laughs> close your eyes. Everyone close your eyes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, J5. I, 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 sometimes I worry that people are stupid. <laughs> it's a flaw of mine, I know. I mean, you should probably want to close your eyes for this entrance anyway, if we're being honest. <laughs> the, the Norse Canuts. That's an unfortunate spelling mistake by... Uh... Yeah, the Canuts. <laughs> we have not seen them in action in a while. Will they have tag team ring rust here? Not going to need that tag action because this is going to be three on two tornado. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, Bessel. <laughs> you big meanie. <laughs> You big <laughs> Sassy Spears. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> well, they're certainly doing a slow walk in. Yep. Maybe starting to think about locking themselves in a cage with uh, three men was not the best of ideas. <laughs> Taking their goddamn time to get in the ring. But here we go. The Norse Canuts. <laughs> Hell in a Cell. Coming up. Eventually. Yep. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, was dear. it predetermined that he'd crash and lose, Ardvac? It certainly was, yep. <laughs> 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 uh, no, he didn't probably, always have that on hair, but he grew Yeah, it. probably when he was like 10 or 11, he, he didn't have it. <laughs> yeah, he just grew it. Way. Oh, there we go. They almost hit each other with their spiky elbow pads. <laughs> All right, three on two handicap coming up. Let's get that cell down and let's get this underway right now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
right now. Here we go, folks. Wait, what's that? <gasps> oh my god! It's the greatest cut out of them all! Fa! The return of Fa! Helping out his Nor Norwegian, whatever, Scandinavian brethren! He's here! He's returned! And it's gonna be another 10 minutes before the catch <laughs> It sure is! Welcome to the best and longest entrance in the JFW! <laughs> Absolutely! Fa is here and he's ready! To beat the shit out of some sheep fucker. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some more scotch. <laughs> I'm gonna go have my pre-show wank. <laughs> uh, maybe do some Sudokus, a crossword, play a turn of rebel. <laughs> Unbelievable! Thor's finally returned! <laughs> Could not have picked a better time to return if you ask me! Helping out the Norse Canuts here! <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah! That's Fuck's sake! That should be it. the fucking turn, <laughs> man! That <laughs> rebel turn. That <laughs> one rebel turn. Fucking hell. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't hurt me. Yeah. I thought about doing that, to be honest. Either. But don't hurt me is a, is a thing. Oh, God, here we are. It's Tornado 3 versus 3. Dio unloading on Space's face with punches, not anything else. I'd say these are fair odds now, but I'm not entirely sure that's very true for the crew that CR Capital EWE, <laughs> because with Thaw in the ring, he could probably take all three of these guys on on his own. He is a force to be reckoned with, folks. If Absolutely. you haven't seen Thaw because you just joined the JFW recently, you're in for a treat, I hope, unless the game... <laughs> Does what the game always does to us. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> and yeah, Dio straight in after Space Cadet. Good call, Lemon. Oh, oh. oh Dio can't hit him though. Oh, and oh. Space takes him out. Absolutely. More the big dude. Domain. Oh. This so is I was all thinking about way. doing something, but not <laughs> sure what. Yep. Oh, he's going after uh, Artemis there. Oh, gosh. Neck crank suplex. Yeah. And they've got Dio isolated. The Norse Canuts teeing off on Dio right now. <laughs> Nearly cleared the whole ring, didn't they? Unbelievable. Yeah, they sure did. And Spenny trying to come to his aid. Oh, no, look Whoa. at this. Oof. The athleticism of space and more Plovach. Unbelievable. Sure, now and now Spenny, the leader of the crew that CR Capital EWE, <laughs> trying to fight back against all three of the Canuts. <laughs> hey. Uh, I don't think they ever put a ref in Hell in a Cell, actually. I don't. I don't, I don't no, I don't no. Think they do. The game doesn't. I don't know if they it do in real life. No. Uh, they definitely do in real life. <laughs> they don't have rendering issues in real life. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, well. There's a lot of booing. I don't know if that's for Dio or Artemis or Space. Or, oh god, Space just got, <laughs> just got yeah. bodied by Dio. Oh, yep. oh look at that though. Yep. Oh! Yeah, Dio, oh! The most beautiful <laughs> European uppercut in the JFW has finally returned. Thaw <laughs> nails it and then gets laid out by Artemis. Brass knucks! The cheating Canut! <laughs> he just hit Thaw with brass knucks. He Brass did. can't do anything about Instant it because he's not brass present. Knucks. <laughs> what a disgusting cheat. <laughs> well, that is one, yeah, that oh, is one way to stunner. get an advantage. More Plovac trying to stay in this here. 
Just got a drop. Artemis instantly thrown into the corner. <laughs> oh, oh, another Lariat. <laughs> really, game? <laughs> Oh boy, Space maybe shouldn't be doing this right now. No. Yep, that's why. <laughs> I think he definitely shouldn't have been doing that. And now Space Cadet looks like he's going to get superplexed onto Artemis Black here. <laughs> he does. Oh, oh no! Spenny, <laughs> however, lands on the knees and now Thaw back to try and save the day. He's going to have to take out all three of the crew that see our capital EWE. Here comes a neutralizer. Oh. No! Gets it's caught by Spenny. Took a little too long cracking his neck there. Yeah, numbers numbers game too much for Thor. This could be and it. Now the super oh another superplex coming on Thaw. Spenny yeah, loving Thaw, the taking, superplexes. Yeah, taking the taking that uh that brass knuck shot has really slowed the big man down. Now more Plovek just comes in to get his ass kicked. <laughs> But maybe that'll buy a little bit of time for Thaw and Space to recover and try and get them back in this. Yep. <laughs> maybe not, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, Spenny's not doing a lot. He's just waiting for Space to come back in and kick him in the stomach. <laughs> yep, we're, we're used to seeing that. <laughs> oh, and now more Plovatch dumped to the outside by Dio. <laughs> As Space working over Spenny and Artemis doesn't know what the fuck to do. No, oh, he's going straight for the absolute shit. <laughs> yep, and he's going for that pin. Oh, nearly oh, got the him. Two, the two count kick out by Space saving the match. Okay, now we're going to have to see something. Art's going to have, or excuse me, Thaw's going to have to dig deep here to get them back in this. He's gonna absolutely have to, yeah, this is tough. Sends him right through the turnbuckle. But now Artemis looking to hit his uh, finisher here. Here comes that axe kick. <laughs> oh, and he nails it. But will he get that pin? It might be Thaw tricky. just gonna watch it. No, Thaw breaks <laughs> it up. Ooh, Thaw looks a little confused there for a second. <laughs> he, took, he took out more blow like on the players. Wow. <laughs> I'm in his own guy. <laughs> Incredible. I literally thought the game froze there because Artemis was celebrating by pointing and not moving. <laughs> Unbelievable. Dio descending on is. Space Cadet like a vulture. Dio. Yeah, Dio versus Space Cadet. He's got him locked and loaded. Uh, not an accidental spin here, folks. Oh, no, but oh, Artemis. He's... No, no, and then Artemis knocked Space Cadet, woke him up, and he docked out of the way. And now the Norse Canuts have an opening here. I have no idea where Spenny is. <laughs> Whoa, and there's that. Oh my god, Artemis looks like he's just been killed. <laughs> he sure does. Oh, oh now just... all three of the crew that see our capital EWE <laughs> going after Thaw, they know the big threat. Oh. Thaw send, oh, sending Artemis right into <laughs> the wall there. And, in the and into it again, bouncing him <laughs> off the chain link. Oh, but Artemis fighting back. Throws him on the ground. Oh, Dio's got more power. <laughs> oh, that was ill-advised with Spenny yep. waiting in the wings. And uh, Artemis Black working over Thaw. No Thaw trying to come back here. More Plovetch heroically trying to take on the other two members, but he's just getting outnumbered and outpowered. Really need to see the Canuts dig deep here if they're yep. going to come back in this. More Plovak getting bullied, but here's less Plovak. <laughs> oh no, and, Ar and uh, Dio locking in his sniper rifle. <laughs> Oh. oh no, the dirty deeds from the dirty Dio. Goes for the pin, will Space break it up? He, he does. does. Oh, and he gets annihilated in response. <laughs> Unbelievable. Spenny's had enough. He's just having to sit down. Yeah. Shades yeah, I of think uh, the crew that see our capital EWE getting a little bit cocky here. Taking their time. Thaw needs to be not left to recover because if he gets going, uh oh, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> All three of them on. Nope. Just one no. of them on. More Plovatch now. The other two doing nothing. Dio going straight for Space Cadet. He can't yeah, resist sure Space is. Cadet. Playing into his hands a little bit there, maybe. 
But Space Cadet not protecting his balls and getting thrown for the <laughs> thrown to the mat for the for his effort. <laughs> oh god. And the Clear crew the have ring. just cleared the ring here. No one paying attention to Thaw. I think that could be a mistake, Jim. It could be, yeah. He's getting a lot of uh, recovery time here in the on the apron, isn't he? Now he's slowly working his way to his feet. He's really going to have to come through to help these other two. Here comes Artemis, though. He's finally... Nope, he's going after more Plovatch. Oh, and Artemis... Oh, yep. <laughs> Gets the pin broken up, I thought. Here comes Thaw. <laughs> and now... Oh, God, the crew just dominating right now. Oh, God. Brutal. <laughs> oh. Well, they apparently don't seem to care that Dio's getting stumped. And Spenny will just stand and watch. Oh, no. oh look at this. The three suplexes. Gut wrench, <laughs> deadlift. Pretty impressive. And more Plovatch trying to come back now. Space Cadet getting to his feet. Could we get a turnaround here? Yeah, we three versus need three one again. right now. Oh, Spenny about to spear more Plovac. Yep, sure is. But here comes. Oh, oh here's this, the burning though. hammer from Thor. Yeah, but oh no, the pin's in though. He breaks it up, and now the pin in on Dio here. Oh, Spenny! Oh, broken up, up by by Artemis too. <laughs> Space getting ravaged again. Oof. Oh, the, the half crab. He could tap to this. No, he gets it broken up by Artemis. And another half crab, really game. <laughs> Oh, God, oh, tangled up in the oh, ropes. Oh, hangs him up in the ropes. Nearly decapitated. What a mess. <laughs> this is what happens. This is what happens when you put two hungry teams in hell in a cell. They are going to battle to the death, folks. Yep. <laughs> this is going to last uh, about three years. Maybe should have put a time count, time limit on it. Absolutely but not. I'm sick of these draws, Jim. This <laughs> one will see its way to his conclusion. None of us have anything better to do with our lives tonight. <laughs> Buckle up. We're in for the long haul. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Art, was, Art and Thor were just looking at each other, but it was, it was a bait by Thor as he countered that kick instantly. And now we've got Artemis and Thaw in the Ooh. ring. Artemis looking to end this on Thaw. You already hit him with those brass knucks earlier. Yep, he's got the kick. He this nails it. it. This could be it. Oh, this could be it. We could more Plovax there. No, the kick out. <sighs> Unbelievable. Thaw proving his worth in this one, but will it be enough? Look at this, like no, a pack of dogs. Yeah, the crew oh, know. They know he is the he is the strong point that they gotta wear down. No, I think Space Cadet might have just imploded upon himself. <laughs> yeah. Burst into a just having a rant about Blodge. <laughs> oh dear, look at this. And now Space Cadet, can he be the hero? He's the one that got everyone into this match. Will he be able to turn the tide or just get his ass kicked by Artemis? <laughs> Looks, like Looks like he's like getting his ass kicked. <laughs> really probably wishing he spun into Jimmy Minmax-tastic right about now. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, God, and Thor just getting booted to death here. This is horrific, isn't it? They're just, they're just annihilating yeah. Thor. They know they've got him stunned. they got to wear him down. They didn't do that earlier, and he came back and almost won it, Jim. <laughs> yeah. What a match we're getting from these guys. Oh, no. Artemis has space isolated. The DDT, oh, the pin. DDT. This has got to be it, Jim. Oh, and Spenny was there to defend, but it was still just a two count. Yeah, Somehow, space, space got the out. shoulder up. Mora Plovatch trying to come back. Oh, now. look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, look at this. What, what a throw. Man. What a throw. He kicks Spenny in the gut. He's going to go for the pin, maybe. He's got oh, a chance boy. at it. No, doesn't go for the pin. Can't stay on top. No, oh, like a shitty Beautiful. rock bottom. Yeah. <laughs> but now Dio. Oh, no. Oh, more Plovatch. Fuck this up. <laughs> Dirty deeds done with sheep. More yep. Plovatch fails to break it up. Does break up the pin attempt. 
Took him about a million years to get a counter in there, but look at this. Oh, look at oh in for a pin. No, he doesn't hold for He had a pin there, Jim. He did. Why isn't he pinning him? Pin him. You've got to get the pin. Look at the other two are completely oh, out of it. Oh, this was their moment. Mora Plovach could have been the unlikely hero. Instead, he's showboating on the top Oh, is he going to do the elbow? He might. The big elbow. No, Thaw might fuck it up, though. Thaw's fucking it up. <laughs> <laughs> well, he hasn't tagged with them in a very long time, if ever. Yeah, I don't think ever. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, he's he got him! He's he still got him! him. Come he's on! Somehow got him! Pin him! Come on. Pin him, you idiot! <laughs> Pin him! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, more Clovatch. Well, space is officially dead by the way. <laughs> yeah, I mean, if the Canuts can't win this one, they know the point in which they got to go back and look at. <laughs> and it was right there, good lord. Oh boy. <laughs> and this is absolutely all kinds of wrong for the Norse Canuts here. Oh god, there's Space Cadet done for. Plovac's out. Thor's out. Oh, but the, the pin was broken up by Artemis! <laughs> <laughs> Artemis had to showboat, had to make sure everyone knows. But here comes a Gore. Oh. oh god, and now they just wanted to make sure. They oh, wanted to it. make sure the pin came in on Space Cadet. Oh. And man. that's it. <laughs> Your winners, the crew, CR, capital E, W, E, isolating Thaw with a just a brutal onslaught and finally picking apart the corpse of Space Cadet after weeks of harrying him, attacking him, and sniping him. Well, there you go. You know, mad props to Space Cadet for trying, but this one is going to go to the crew. Capital C, R, E, no, I fucked up. <laughs> That's the end of that joke, folks. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> Absolute dicey. <laughs> well, really, Space, your big mistake was not saving up enough kick-out equity. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's the, that's the one. <laughs> All right, next up, we're going to turn our sights to the Plim Plom Pluserweight division. The reigning champion as of Friday night, <laughs> Just Joe, getting the ringing endorsement of Mighty AS. Tony plays poorly, coming out against Ansi, who won his, his match a couple weeks ago. <laughs> and yeah, I don't know how to feel about this one. We just watched Muppet Pac-Man almost save his career and then falter and dive over the top rope really unfortunate stuff what's yeah. going to become of that but he is no longer employed by the jfw in his place just joe with the title against ansi and it's coming up now yeah what a what a swing for poor old muppet here eh? from hero to zero in two days Plim Plum Blues are it, Jojo. Here he is, Ansi. He's, uh, he's been on the scene for a few months now. He's been a pretty good performer. Hasn't put all the pieces together, but he did beat out Bleeding Hippie to get this shot at this belt. Did not <laughs> expect this opponent, though, so this could be a rough one for him. But here we go, Just Joe versus Ansi. Coming up next, Lim Plom Pluserweight Division. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, it's something, isn't it? <laughs> yep, that sure is a word you can use to describe it. Too. I'm just, I just hope that um, that uh, what's it called? Um, I can't speak. I know. <laughs> oh, cocky. I just hope that Just Joe's entrance isn't ruined by the belt. Just Joe's entrance is definitely going to be ruined by the belt, I'm going to assume. 
So I think everyone in the arena probably going to be rooting for ANSI in this one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I really hope it's not oh. ruined by the bow. Doing all right, Cocky. We got an epic night in going on and more to come ahead of us. Real heartbreaker, though, earlier, watching nine men lose their jobs in the JFW. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, unfortunately for everyone, we're just going to have no, to deal. No, 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 Oh, no. look at Whoa. that. Oh, my God, Jim. Oh, my God. 90F. Well, in that case, sir, you can keep that belt as long as you want it. We saw... <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> oh dear. Oh wait a second. Yeah, good eyes, bezel. Look at that adorning, adorning the mighty AF logo. <laughs> yeah, unbelievable. And here we go, folks. Just Joe, looking like he's joining the ranks of Mighty AF, and he's carrying some gold with him into that group. I'm sure no one's complaining about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Look at <Al> LJ. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. All right, here we go. Match just about to get underway. Yeah. Plim plum plus. Yeah, on on the line here. The biggest belt on the smallest men. Just Joe versus Ansi. <laughs> he looks happy, doesn't he? Introducing the champion from Manchester, England, weighing in at 166 pounds. He is the cruiserweight champion, Joe the Fireman. <laughs> Joe the Fireman. Fantastic stuff. It's no secret that the upper management in the JFW has been obsessed with creating this face of the company. These are guys that serve the wiles and ambitions and interests of one man, Mr. Jims McMahon. And while he neglects the rest of the body to create this face, the JFW withers and dies. That's where Scaramezzo's high intensity tournament comes in. We're creating this tournament for the JFW universe. This is a tournament with my name on it, but it's not one man calling the shots. Oh no, it's all 32, every single participant in the shit tournament. They've got a shot at glory. We're going to unclench that iron grip that Mr. Jim McMahon has on the JFW universe. And we're going to do it in that slot that we're stealing Wednesday night, 8 p.m. UTC. That's ours now. I'll see you there, shitheads. <laughs> well, what was that about? Everything all right, Jim? I, yeah. I think I lost my feed for a second there. Yeah, that, that was, was really uh... that was really weird. Well, anyway, this match is underway, folks. Sorry about the sorry about the technical difficulties. <laughs> <laughs> Ansi versus Just Joe. Here we go. Just Joe really off to a hot start here, looking to looking to uh, retain his uh, recently won title. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> two, out of, two out of three pinfalls. Yeah, J five. J five picking a weird time to start quoting Meatloaf. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> meatloaf songs, but I'm here for it. <laughs> oh, dear. And see, oh, doesn't even get a one count. But hey, at least he knows which building he's in today, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, oh, look at that. What? <laughs> he fell on him, though. He got his own back by falling on him. <laughs> Innovative offense from just Joe. <laughs> yep. Oh, and there's that chin breaker. Looks like he hurt his head a little bit on it. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a double hard chin as Ansi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, look at this. Oof. Just elbows right to the top of the head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Into the dorm. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> oh boy. Oh, is Ansi going for a weapon? Looks like he is. Yeah, they totally could, J5. <laughs> oh, sledgehammer. Well, the sledgehammer now floating in the air where who was let go. <laughs> Good combat. Oh, dear me. Ah, yes, the good old Queen Vic. Oh, yep. walks around till he gets counted. Classic, classic strats from Joe. Yeah, the chop lock dropping the firefighter. And now Antsy, now this is extreme roll, so no count outs here. Will he go for that sledgehammer? He sure won't. <laughs> no. Oh, sends him right into the post. And there's that sledgehammer again. He almost, oh, oh no, he did collide with it. Oh, but he dodges out of the way oh, of it. Oh, he doesn't but dodge the second time. that time. Oh, the low hit and the elbow drop. Antsy in control here. Oh, man. Absolutely brutal. Yep. Oh, nice kick. And Joe in trouble. He's reeling the champ. Can he retain? Who knows? It's not looking good for him at the moment, is it? Sure, sure isn't. Not looking good for him. Maybe not looking good for the aspirations of Mighty AF. Yeah. Adding him in to add their count of gold, but, uh,. Sure doesn't look like it's going their way right now. Just Joe's going to have to battle back here if he wants a chance to go on a run with his newly found title, which he won. I mean, he dominated Muppet in that match, too. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. Whoa. Oh, just lawn darts him into the middle rope there. And here's the pin. This could be it already. <laughs> no, two count kick out. So close. <laughs> not his Amazingly, hands. yeah, not enough damage to to alter his smile, Lemon. We're still good. <laughs> Ooh, rings of Saturn though by Ansi. And Joe able to full oh, knees his way out, punches him in the head, and now Joe's gonna have to really turn it on here. Oh boy. And he doesn't. <laughs> Oh, look at these gymnastics. All that for an elbow. <laughs> Nails them. <laughs> well, he's driving the elbows into uh, Joel's head. Is the rings of Saturn your finisher, Ancy? Nah, oh, ref be. got a little confused on this pinfall. Oh. Oh, it's oh Gargano. Yeah, okay, fair enough. I guess it's not really a Rings of Saturn. Ah, it basically is. <laughs> um, yeah, we should probably get you a non-submission finisher. The submission finishers aren't very effective in the AI matches. No, they're not. But... I mean, you'll be fine. We believe in you as a competitor. <laughs> yeah. Just Joe picking up and putting down that chair. They're not really right, asserting they're dominance they're out. out there. Oh, but he might power bomb him onto it. Oh. He, oh, I'm going to count it. He definitely did. He <laughs> did that strategically, folks. <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> that was brutal. Oh no, and look at this. Hung up on the on the, oh no. Could we see it? Could we see First it? First time in could, JFW history. Could we see it? Oh good lord, please no. No, no not happening. <laughs> Yeah, it, it won. It 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 let it, Wanger retained his title with it, didn't he? At the start of the show, so people do win with submissions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Just you know, not as often. Yeah. It's, I it's, feel it's like great. you can get a submission if the guy is dead, no matter what. But you'll never get a submission otherwise. Yeah. Whereas you can get punches. Oh, look at this twist of fate. Ooh. Oh, Ancy in trouble here. Is he going for the pin? He's not. And that gives Ancy an opening here. Oh, oh, nice oh, maneuver yeah. there. Yeah, what's funny about the... Uh, oh, God, look at this. What's funny about the uh, submission finishes is the more often you get a pin after it than you do get a tap out from it. It's weird. That's true. Oh, and... Oh, Oof. I thought that was it. I missed the yeah. one on the oh, one hey, count, man. so I thought that was the three count. Yeah, that was, that was close. <laughs> Oh, and he's going for it again. Now this could be it. Joe hanging on here. His face. <laughs> Joe, you can see a fierce competitor is Joe. Can't seem to get out of this. Oh, he finally does. His fucking face. Ever yeah. He's uh, unflappable as that guy. That was amazing. Sure was. <laughs> Here comes Ancy on the comeback. Yeah, on the comeback trail. Oh, roll through a kick there. Oh, the fireman's carry though. <laughs> moves him around till it gets counted. Brilliant. <laughs> oh no, he's missing on the kick there, now in trouble. Just Joe looking to get kicked in the dick. <laughs> oh. Hangs him up on the ropes. Yep. JFW classic. Antsy feeling it now, thinks he's got a chance, goes for the pin. <laughs> Two count kick out again. Joe hanging on by a thread. <laughs> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> You know, wrench that elbow. That stomp on is vicious. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I really like that. DDT. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that DDT. And just locking in all the submissions on Joe now. Must think he's got him in, a in Mighty AF now. Maybe all of Mighty <laughs> AF taps out tonight. Wouldn't that be <laughs> something? That'd be incredible. <laughs> Oh. Tony, of course, in the main event. Oh, look at this, though. Hangs on for the pin. This has got to be it, Jim. Yeah. Oof. Just the two count again. <laughs> Just Joe. Fighting back. Uh, trying trying as, de as much as he can, but Ancy still just laying it into him right now. Yeah, this has been pretty dominating from Ancy, hasn't it? Well, the opening the opening was all just Joe, but Ancy's really turned it around. Yeah, incredible performance. <laughs> Joe, I like how he's got Joe on his ass. <laughs> Chuckles. Just with the with the O, isn't it? It's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> Ancy working over just Joe, but no. Oh, look at this. The, the counter, Whoa. no. Kips up, but Joe coming right into him, and Ancy staying in control. Ancy really impressing here. Yeah, incredible. I mean, he has got the uh, the best win rate, I think, in the entire JFW. And there's an Arclay oh, out of nowhere. This could be sure it. Sure is. Absolutely got to be. No. Oh. Oh, barely a two count. Wow, <laughs> this is an epic match, folks. No surprise, the Plim Plum Pluserweight division, always a delight. 
Unbelievable, Jeff. Oh, hoo -hoo. I've got weapons, unused weapons on. <laughs> no, and the sledgehammer got a hit in, didn't it? The chair didn't. Well, the chair, he did get dropped on the chair. Oh, look at this. Yeah, he did, yeah. Look at this. Oof. Oh, the power oh, bomb. God. I thought he was going to hit that apron for a second there. Yeah. Oh, he is going to go for his finisher, but he's outside the ring, Jim. Yeah, this is not what you need. But here is the Feynman slam. No, just some oh. thing on the outside. Another power bomb. He's 12 feet of concrete. And That's now Joe's taking it out of. A fancy here. That's, that was two finishes on the outside, wasn't yeah. it? This could be it. Absolutely could be. Did Joe just steal one here? Oof. No, a two count kick out. Oh, what a match, Jim. This is ridiculous, isn't it? <laughs> two absolute warriors. Yeah, raining those elbows into the top of the head of Ansi. Just Joe looking to solidify his championship, but not yet. Here comes Ansi. One last uh, run, maybe. No, he gets countered, kicked in the hamstring, flipped over, and now Joe going to tee off on him there. Oof, blockbuster. <laughs> yeah, Joe, Joe surprising never gets busted up, Nancy. <laughs> 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 He's always smiling, never bleeding. <laughs> oh, vicious neck crank. We've seen this in matches before. <laughs> oh, the old sit on the arm move I think he needs more than this doesn't he I think so yep just a two count as much as Ansi's taken a lot of damage it's going to take a special move to put one of these away well I think Joe might be thinking that too nope he's just going to pin him again <laughs> Just the two count again. I would have been shocked if that were a three, Jim. <laughs> yeah. But only so much. Oh, what's this? Oh, the counter. That's what it was. Yeah. Nancy sends him over the top rope here. He's going to pull him right back in the ring. No, he's going to punch him. Oh, oh look at this. Oh, dude, he tees him on the hardest part of the ring, Jim. <laughs> what a maneuver. That is and the hardest Nancy part of the ring. Drops that elbow into him. He's not going to tap on the outside. No, that's not where you're going to get a tap out. He does tap, but he's on the he outside. Taps. It's no yeah. good. Yeah, oh, Ansi realizing his mistake now. Got a little over eager there. But is it enough? Can he get him in the ring? He might have a pin on him if he does. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> the intellect of Danny Dyer. <laughs> oh, God. Smashing him into the steps, though. He's trying to get him in back into the ring, I think. <laughs> in his desperation to get him into the ring. He's, oh, he's oh. busted him open. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't know about that, Jim. He looks fine to me. <laughs> in spirit. He busts him open in spirit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, big windmill punch from Joe. Oh, look at this. Look at this, Jim. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh. Wow, long way to go to hit those ropes on the slingshot. Yep. Oh, and there's another twist, twist of, fate. of fate. This oh, could wow, be it. Oh, wow, what a comeback. What a comeback by Joe. Can he get the pin here? This could be it after tapping out. <laughs> and it is Joe outlasting Ansi. Ansi had the win, but it was not false count anywhere. And just Joe hangs on. What a match. Match of the night, if you ask me, Jim. Yeah, so far, that was incredible. Nobody makes Joe bleed his own blood. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mighty AF now one and one on the night. Tony plays poorly, still to come. Not everyone's getting fired, J5. Just the uh, <laughs> just the losers at the bottom of the barrel battle royale. <laughs> yeah, right great point by Bezel. Give up, gives up sometimes, but it was the right time. 
and just <laughs> Joe retaining his title. Yeah, that is the best time to give up on Joe. the outside, isn't it? Yep, congrats to Joe. Incredible performance. I'm pretty sure I won't get fired at J5. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I think I'm a little more job secure than you are. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, folks, that was your Plim Plom Pluser weight division. Oh, boy. Now, here it is. <clears throat> Hell in a Cell coming back down. I don't know how I'm going to handle this one, Jim. I got a tear in my eye thinking about this one. <laughs> Bezel versus extra arms bot the father creator versus the child we saw the one of the most dramatic moments in jfw history on monday night bezel confronted by extra arms bot eab worried about bezel's naked soul being corrupted by that of demon prince rick reckless and and trying to expunge the corruption the influence unable to do so his last resort to challenge bezel to hell in a cell said he'll beat it out of him if he has to and that's where we are tonight bezel versus eab hell in a cell match the battle for the soul of the father creator glorious <laughs> the best 10 seconds in jmw Oh, yeah, and because the thing comes down, it'll work properly, won't it? Brilliant. <laughs> Rochester. What's that? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> Bazaar. Not looking very well there, is he, Bezel? <laughs> All right, and here we go. All of the, the emotion riding on those massive shoulders of extra arms bought. You can see it in his eyes, Jim. It's serious. <laughs> this one. This one, that cold, dead stare, he knows he'll never be able to go past this moment in time again. It's all about EAB versus Bezel. The cage will keep all the demons out tonight. It's about father, creator, and son. Oh, yeah. <laughs> very lemon very <laughs> I've been going with the flow as best as I could though tonight yeah you've done a good job <laughs> brown him up bezel <laughs> oh, God. don't even <laughs> cage will lower around these two competitors extra arms bought bezel they're going to fight now. And look at that. The corruption taking hold of the creator himself. And here we go. EAB versus Bezel. Hell in a cell. Oh, boy. This looks like an absolute mismatch. But Bezel is is an amazing competitor, isn't he? He's fast. He's uh, He's got the submissions. It's... Uh, it's not as as bad as it looks physically. <laughs> and yeah, and clearly something transpired between him and Demon Prince Rick Reckless, giving him those supernatural powers to punch out of. Wait a second. Whoa. That's that's the demon's music, but the cage, the cage is keeping them safe. The cage is keeping them safe. Yeah, EAB knows it. He knows he's got the cage for a reason. Whoa. Oh no. He's rolled into the ring undramatically somehow and he's just <laughs> laid out extra arm spot and now eab trapped in the cage no he's fighting back though and the ref doesn't know what the fuck he's doing <laughs> he doesn't need to be distracted because it's hell in a cell there's no dqs in this match oh boy well bezel's had a chat about blood bowl three and now he's wrong bezel rick's had a chat about blood bowl three and now he's fucked off 
Oh no, Bessel. Bessel, uh, I mean, Rick's demonic assault on EAB bought Bessel enough time to recover from that opening flurry. And oh no, Rick's back in the ring. Oh, he's... No, he's not. No, he's not. No, no, false alarm. I, I fucking hate this game. <laughs> oh, boy. oh my god. Oh boy. Rick's just looking at down the uh, down the ramp to see if Rick's making his entrance. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like everyone to know when I tested out how to do the run-ins with Hell in a Cell on the first one I did. Rick just ran down the ra ran down the ramp directly into the cage and just kept running into the cage for the next five minutes while they continued fighting. Fantastic! Oh God, Friendly great DDT. Well, Bezel maybe he doesn't need Rick's help. I mean, he certainly had his the help in other ways, hasn't he? Well, I mean, without Rick inter in interfering early on, EAB had Bezel on the ropes. He it was already all but over the way I remember it, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Bezel, no kidding. <laughs> He's just there going, all right, love, I'll be out in a minute. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> all right, well, as we continue with our actual jobs of calling wrestling matches, Jim. <laughs> oh, there's that running knee to the corner. Here comes another, another one. one. Bezel Ooh. fired up. Oh, no, EAB staggered. Could the presence of the Demon Prince Rick Reckless be infusing Bezel with the power to win this match? <laughs> Man, Pete. Let me tell my goddamn score stories, WWE 2K19. <laughs> oh boy, look at this. The 10 count. Trying to bust open that skull, which he uh, fabricated <laughs> himself. Yeah, I feel like Bezel would have just broken his hand doing that, but never mind. <laughs> he knows the weak points, Jim. Ah, yes. Oh boy. Oh dear, oh, look at no. this. <laughs> Bezel with that standing moonsault. Oh dear me. Rick's just working his shoulders out. But EAB, very resilient. A big man. Oh, but here comes that. Ben's that eye drop. Ben's eye drop. <laughs> Oh, I thought he had him. <laughs> I did too. I did too. <laughs> May, maybe, Lemon. Oh, there's a lot of things that could happen that would be better than just the match ending in the ring right now. Yeah. <laughs> God knows if the game decides if we'll get any of those things. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, but hey, all the drama on display right now. Tears in his eyes, even though he's a robot. He's <laughs> fighting back with all he's got. Here comes EAB. Oh. Oh, dropping the hammer there. And by hammer, I mean his butt. <laughs> oh, man. Trying to rip his head off. Unbelievable. Oh, he sends strong. him to the outside. Now, if he does pursue, he could. He could, in theory, spark Rick's attention. Rick doesn't seem to be paying any attention whatsoever. Oh, now he is. Oh, he's looking. He's looking. He sure is looking at him. Oh, this is it. Oh, 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 sends him closer. He sends him closer. No. No. Nope, never mind. Now no. Rick just moves further away. Yep. He's a pacifist. He's a pacifist demon. Doesn't break up the count. <laughs> and EAB getting worn down, wondering what he's got to do to his father creator. Oh God, fix him up like a baby. 
Ooh. Oh no, just knocks his head oh. and then the running power slam. That could be it, Jim. We well, drop that be. elbow now. Oof, nope, he's gonna stand stunning. on him, crushing his sternum. Oh boy. The lifeless body of Bezel. Oh, but he was playing possum. He comes sure in with those was. vicious leg kicks. And an uppercut takes him yeah, down. Yeah, European uppercut dropping EAB. Oh, and we're going to see another one of these <laughs> pop and lock standing moonsaults. <laughs> Nails it. Oh, boy. Oh, it's the elbow, is it? No, he's going to stand uh, down. Oh, no, he might be malfunctioning. <laughs> Yeah, who knows what Bezel's done? He might he might re be yeah. reprogramming somehow. Ooh, that underhook suplex though. <laughs> and now the pin. Oh, oh here comes Rick. Rick here comes Rick breaking oh. up the pin, and now it's Rick running out Running away. <laughs> 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 oh fuck this game. Oh no, EAB though. EAB he wants a piece having of Rick. none of it. Having none of it. Maybe. <laughs> It's having kicked. some of it <laughs> and Rick runs away again the most violent demon of all time <laughs> yeah EAB distracted by Rick here demon prince Rick Reckless oh, oh and that's gonna cost them Rick Reckless <laughs> that's why he's here folks <laughs> another Benzai drop coming oh. and that'll do it sure enough Bezel, your winner, defeating his creation EAB with the help of Demon Prince Rick Reckless. You can't draw it up any better than that, folks. <laughs> yeah, you really can't. <laughs> oh, man, what does the future hold for Extra Arms Bot? Yeah, unbelievable. Cast out by his own creator. Corrupted creator. Bezel. <laughs> there he is. Oh boy, corruption look at his eyes. flowing through, chaos corruption flowing through his veins, but he doesn't care. He's on display for the world, folks. This is Bezel, and he <laughs> is your winner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. There he is, Bazaar. <laughs> A chop fat. Oh dear. All right. Well, now we're supposed to have a tag team match for the two heads championships the unnatural snackers were set to face dress for business but uh doesn't doesn't look like we're gonna get any dress for business action both men being fired after failing to win the bottom of the barrel royal rumble earlier tonight don't know what's in store but maybe we'll have something shed some light on the status of the two heads championship and we're just going to wait for word from backstage uh, to see what's going on here. Yeah, Lemon Lemon and Fan Fox both sacked in the bottom of the barrel battle royale at the top of the show. Unbelievable stuff. Lemon, the first person fired after about three seconds of wrestling <laughs> yeah. to save his job. <laughs> yeah. Claims he didn't want his job to begin with, but he's the only one who's complained thus far. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, let's see what's going to happen. Yeah, exactly, Cocky. Here we go. Let's get to ringside. <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, boy. Wait a second. That's Mighty AF's music. That's Clavius. That's Frostlord. Frostlord already in a match earlier tonight, underperforming against Table Leg Wanger for the EAB belt. They're coming out here right now, frequent rivals of their good friends, the Unnatural Snackers. But something tells me if they're getting inserted into this match, 
for the Two Heads Championship. Well, uh, I think that friendship might be on the ropes. <laughs> on the ropes, I see what you did there. Unbelievable. Mighty F. Imagine if Frostlord had won the extra arms belt earlier tonight, Jim. This that would be a really... Great, yeah, I mean, assuming they can beat the Unnatural Snackers, if that's what we're getting here, we don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, Team Fantastic is long gone, Lean Gara. This is completely different. This is corporate AF. <laughs> yeah, hashtag corporate AF. <laughs> and firing. <laughs> 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 we're de definitely a different storyline that we're working with here. <laughs> Completely different. <laughs> oh, dear. Yeah, Lean Guerra echoing the words of the JFW universe. Words that Skirmetso, I'm being told, even though I pretended I couldn't see that video, <laughs> sang earlier tonight. <laughs> The whims of Mr. Dimps McMahon's booking just ruining the shows. <laughs> Shut up, Jim. And here they are, the unnatural snackers. <laughs> I'm just laughing at this. This entrance, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Oh man, it is a great entrance, isn't it? So here we go, Mighty F replacing Dress for Business. Who's gonna be the new Two Heads champions? Yeah, they are without Muppet Pac-Man in their corner for this one, unfortunately. Uh, but it also it's Extreme Rules, so wouldn't have had a manager to begin with. But here we go, yeah, looking pretty upbeat for two guys that lost one of their best friends and now have to fight former best friends of theirs to get a title that they've been vying for for months. <laughs> yep. <laughs> there it is, the two heads belt. Well, championship. Not belts, championships. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that probably... Anything is yeah, anything is possible, Ancy. That'd probably be more threatening than anything else he's done. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he cost the A B that belt that match, Jim. He did. He did. And here we go, Mighty AF versus the Unnatural Snackers. Yeah, we all know that as, as good as Bessel is, nobody beats EAB one-on-one, -on -one, do they? Apart from Jimmy Fantastic, funny enough. Fair and square. Middle of <laughs> the ring. And Pac-Man that one time. <laughs> it was a count-out victory, though. <laughs> and probably Skiramezzo if they ever met backstage. Probably, yeah. yeah EAB <laughs> should stay the fuck away from backstage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that from Clavius. Very cocky. Yep. I am Charles. Clavius, that one not time. cocky. Uh, that's it. Uh, you no, know, he was cocky from Clavius. <laughs> <laughs> he got me there. I didn't know what the fuck I'd said. <laughs> oh, look at that from Satatoad. Fighting two men at once. But now J5 is back in. I didn't say Kimmy fantastic. Oh, I'm cocky. Kimmy is the, hashtag Jimmy is the real champ. Oh, look at that from Sabatode. Incredible kicks. <laughs> oh boy, be. and now J5 in some trouble here. Unnatural snackers. Oh, look at this. Hangs him up for that neck breaker. <laughs> Satterfield having to roll out of the ring to recover. Frostlord and Clavius all over J5, but he's fighting back, folks. He certainly is. Not English, Kfog, not English. That's for that's for damn sure. We never we never we never really know, Kfog. <laughs> not English. 
Oh, oh. nicely done by J5. <laughs> Not so nicely <laughs> done. No, the second one wasn't so great, though. <laughs> Oh, but top rope Johnny, here we go. Superplex coming. Ooh. Oh, drops him. Oh, he rolls him up for oh, a second. Oh, wow. No, the Falcon Arrow. Oh, incredible. Beautiful maneuver. Incredible. And he, oh, God, then Sanfield jumps on him. Oh, my God, Clivius should be fucking Clivius dead. might be dead as J5 gets the table. <laughs> Just the two count. J5, will he actually remember to set the table up? He will not. <laughs> fucking hell, that was nuts. <laughs> Wow, yeah, Snackers really playing a win here. <laughs> Looks like they're done with the shenanigans of Mighty AF. Oh, Frosty's oh, back in was, Yeah, focused a little bit too much on Clavius there. Lost track of Frostlord. And Frostlord now looking to drop him right on those ropes. We've seen that before. Yeah. <laughs> Snackers do love the tables, yeah. Neat of the chops from Satterfield. No. Oh. God, they're up for this, aren't they? The Snackers. This is they sure incredible are. so far. <laughs> oh, no, but he's countered there. And then I don't know how Satterfield ended up on the ground from all that. <laughs> but he did. <laughs> if that doesn't fix his eyebrows, nothing will. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, boy. <laughs> J5 going crazy. <laughs> he sure is. Oh, he's sent, sent into the announce table Ooh, there. Though. Will this be it? No, he's just going to get slammed on it again. <laughs> oh, the running drop kick, though. Yeah, that's pretty and nice. now Frostlord on Satterfield. Another, <laughs> ooh. Just plants him on the ground there. I don't know what that was. No. J5 was fighting ghosts for a minute there. <laughs> Oh god, look at that, he just crumples on the ring post there. Oh, oh that half, half crab! Crumb. Well, he's outside the ring though, so that's yeah. not going to mean much for him. No. Oh, look at this big, oh, that big grill of press there. Yeah, it's not false count anywhere, so that will not get the win. <laughs> yeah, well, we have no control over any of that, unfortunately, Chimp. Yeah, and I think they only do it if they've got the OMG yeah. moment. Which... Yeah, but I looked. A lot of people do have that just randomly, so yeah. it should have happened by now. <laughs> but also, we should have seen someone leave a hell in a cell by now, and we've never seen that either. No. I was really hoping both EAB and Bezel can spear each other out of the cell, and neither did it. That would have been amazing. Wouldn't it? I know. Oh, Arcleo, oh, but Arcleo. it's on the outside. J J5 busted open, but he's outside. Can't be pinned out there. And Satterfield coming back here on Frostlord. Oh, oh. he counters that. Punches him. Chins him. Chins him. Oh, the pin. <laughs> Oof, we don't oh, know what's happening with count. shit, uh, to be honest, Cocky. It's just we've just seen that announcement uh, that apparently neither of us saw, but we've both seen yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I, I I got it on my phone here. It was tweeted at me. Looks like a, it's going to be a 32 man competition, single elimination. Uh, do not know who's going to be involved. If I had some guesses, I'm going to guess there's a few contracts that just uh, that just got made uh, made uh, open and available. But beyond that, we don't really know. Oh, oh God, sure. there's the last ride. Sure is. Oh ooh, no, ooh. Satterfield in some trouble here. And That's no, it. that is it. Frostlord with the pin. J5 getting in just a second too late. That was a hell of a match, but uh, just could not outlast Mighty AF. Brutal. Oh, what a move that was. <laughs> and there it is. Corporate AF. And oh, that's hey, the new man. hashtag that we're seeing trending. <laughs> Sad sight to see, but, you know, that's what happens in the, with the... Uh, Military industrial complex. You go where the money is, and right now the money's with Mr. Jim McMahon. And there you go, your new two heads champions, Mighty AF. Oh boy. <laughs> Look how happy Clavius is. Look at his I know, eyebrows. His gold, his gold tooth, his eyebrows, his ears. He's a <laughs> fucking nightmare. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> 
<laughs> but he's our nightmare to deal with because he's got the gold now and Mighty AF walking out of here victorious. <laughs> yeah, and now it's time for the main event. It sure is. Flicky Flack versus Tony plays poorly in Hell in a Cell. Flicky Flack went through the ringer to earn this shot, but he's up against big match Tony. A guy we rarely see lose matches, only when he decides to give up, and only usually in meaningless matches. <laughs> so there's a chance here. Flicky Flack, as, as much as I don't want to admit it, <laughs> Flicky Flack can put on a hell of a main event for us. But will he? That's in that's in that's in God's hands, folks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows what's gonna happen? It's not predetermined. Anything could happen. <laughs> this one probably should have been. <laughs> the following contest is a Hell in a Cell match. And it's for the World Championship. Oh boy. And of course, Gorilla Metal is taking his leave <laughs> to go somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just refilling my water. Here comes he, Flicky Flack. He doesn't want to be anywhere near Flicky Flack during this hellacious entrance. <laughs> Unfortunately, Goliath couldn't be couldn't be on the show. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Well, I'll do my part. I'm going to put my money on Tony Plays Poorly to win this one. It just seems like it's Mighty AF's night, other than that one hiccup earlier tonight. I think it's Tony Plays Poorly who's walking out, retaining his championship. But we all know what Gorilla Mezzo's uh, <laughs> predictions are worth. So. <laughs> yep, that's true. Not a lot. <laughs> and here he is. Big match, Tony. Tony plays poorly. The face of the JFW, the leader of Mighty AF, hashtag corporate AF. Oh, Tony yeah. plays poorly. Glorious. A true he American came, hero. Yeah, he came here to win fans and sell t shirts, and he's all out of fans. <laughs> <laughs> Big match, Tony. Yep. Tom Schniz, the Friday fuckboy himself, Lev Red Mask, <laughs> here to cheer on his plain white toast partner, Flicky Flack, <laughs> in the biggest the biggest match of his career coming up right now. <laughs> uh, I mean, that's an accurate, that is an accurate, you know, an accurate description of the JFW these days, Tarsus. Yeah, that's perfect. It's a face made out of wax that melted slightly. <laughs> he only gives up sometimes, so watch out. Well, Flicky Flack, not known for his submission maneuvers. He does have a sharpshooter, though, doesn't he? So. He does, but, you know, it generally goes to that flack hammer and the spear. Yeah. For fuck's sake, Tony! <laughs> Stop being shit! Here we go. Tony plays poorly. Flicky Flack, World Heavyweight Championship on the line. Oh, boy. <laughs> Funky Fink. What? Because <laughs> it's like flicky flack in it, funky flick. <laughs> oh, that one's a stretch. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Yeah, it's terrible. Weighing in at 242 pounds, he is the world champion, Big Mac Tony. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've probably always been AFK, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah, that, that is very true. <laughs> All right, well, now the time for disparaging Flicky Flack is over. Once that bell rings, he really does turn it on. Had a hell of a match on Friday, stand firm. Can he repeat that with a win here? 
Hell in a Cell against the top guy in the JFW for the World Heavyweight Championship. And look at that. Right off the bat, here comes Flicky Flack. <laughs> After seeing everything transpire with Mighty AF, hashtag Corporate AF, uh, with Mr. Jim McMahon, I got to believe Flicky Flack has garnered him a few extra fans for the night. Let's see what he can do. Yeah. Oh, good Lord. No, it's, it's, not, it's not a stunner. It's just I, a I, I know. I thought he was setting up for a stunner. <laughs> oh, my God. I would have just cried. <laughs> oh. He's gone straight for the pin. No messing around from Tony. He doesn't get a one count, though. <laughs> Already, Flicky Flack seems hurt. Yeah, well, you know, Tony turns it on in these matches. Every single punch is the equivalent of a finisher for some guys. <laughs> no, We're Goliath. playing it right now, Goliath. We're playing it the best way we possibly can. <laughs> Jimmy Fantastic shit at this game. <laughs> oh. Huge there punches. Goes, meaty paws, and he's just going to toss him halfway across the ring there. Uh, pretty hopeful pin, though. Yeah. Not even a one count. <laughs> like he's going to have to do a little bit more than that to get one up on Tony here. Yep. Pump handle. Oh no! No counters. Oh, here comes the uh, elbow yep. drop. For fuck's sake, Tony! Very kicky Stop punchy, isn't shit. he, Tony? He's very always has punchy. been, always will be. Whatever <laughs> works, right? Yeah. He's a brawler, all right. <laughs> like the Blood Bowl 3 skill. <laughs> but here comes Flicky Flack. Big counter. And Flicky, look at this. Oh, beautiful Huge. fall away slam there. Flicky Flack showing off his power has the size advantage on Tony Plays Poorly. Oh. Another pump handle. Ooh. Will it work Absolutely. this time? Not countered Ooh. this time. Almost caught on the ropes there, though. That could have been bad for everyone. It could have been. He's taken over the, taken over the match now, isn't he? Flicky Flack here. This is. Uh... Sure is. <laughs> and he's fired up now, but Big Match Tony always has a comeback in him. Always. He is the man who built JFW. And then handed it off to a guy. I'll hey. moderate myself there. A guy. The greatest yep. guy in sports entertainment. The venerable... Oh, I, I Mr. Jim's McMahon. Everybody's favorite owner. Everyone's favorite billionaire. Yep. Sure. <laughs> oh, he's stalking him on the outside. Sure is, and this is where that hell in a cell can really come into play. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> probably, n probably not, though. <laughs> Oh, he hits him off the fence. It's not a fence. Oh, now he's it? grinding his forehead into the fence there, too. For fuck's sake, Tony. Stop being shit. And then he puts him back in the ring. But hey, look, yep. we got a bit of value from the hell in the cell there. Brilliant stuff. Oh, here comes the air. Uh, punches to the chops. Oh, bust but, him open, too. The Luthez press. Thank God that wasn't a three <laughs> 
Yeah, I would have been pretty bummed out, but here we go. Flicky Flack bleeding profusely, about and to take an AA. Stunner. It might as well be over now, Jim. It could be. There's the stunner. Sorry, stunner, uh, stunner, stunner, stunner. Stunner, not an AA. <laughs> it still feels like an AA to me. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? And that's it. <laughs> and the dominance of Tony plays poorly continues. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> well, folks, there is your hashtag corporate AF uh, champion. Tony plays poorly. A good effort by Flicky Flack, but he just couldn't outlast the man. <laughs> <laughs> Glorious AF. Yep, that wasn't that wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Flicky, I won't even make a boring joke at your expense right now. God damn it. <laughs> well, it's not predetermined, folks. <laughs> this is as real as it gets. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway, we'll see you all tomorrow night for Monday Night Claw, the fallout from Hell in a Cell. And just hearing all this coming in about the shit, the Scurimezzo High Intensity Tournament starting this Wednesday, 8 p.m. UTC. We're going to find out more about what that's about. Probably won't talk about it on clocks. I doubt the bosses are going to let us. But as <laughs> soon as we have the info, we'll get it into your hands, folks. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure we'll be able to work, uh, <laughs> work on a rival show on, on the same channel somehow. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Well, we haven't been able to stop them from broadcasting thus far, so... <laughs> Who knows what's going to happen? Anyway, yeah. that's all we've got for you tonight. Thank you for tuning in to Hell in a Cell. My name is Gorilla Metso. Thank you, as always, for having me, Jim. Yep, thank you very much, Gorilla. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.